Okay, the question we had was about how to find the x-intercepts on the graph of an equation when you're using the quadratic formula. And the example given was y equals x squared minus 4x minus 10. And the thing to keep in mind about the quadratic formula is when you get to the end and you've solved, what it's going to give you is the x-coordinates or the x-intercepts. So after you solve it and you get the solutions, those are where uh, the x-intercept is zero, or when it hits the x-intercept. So all we have to do is solve this using the quadratic formula, and we will have the x-intercepts. So let's remind ourselves about the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times ac and all of that's going to be divided by 2 times a. So in our problem here we have to identify what a, b, and c are and we see that it's already in the standard form so we don't have to reorganize what is done there which is good so we don't have to rearrange any of the formula at this point but if we have x squared minus 4x minus 10 a in this case is 1 b is negative 4, and c is negative 10. So going back to our quadratic formula, we're going to put in those numbers and see what happens. We have negative, negative 4, plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared, minus 4, times a, times c, and all of that is going to be divided by 2 times a, which is 1. So now what we're going to do is have to go back and simplify this. So negative times a negative 4 is positive 4, plus or minus the square root of 16 plus 40 divided by 2, and so 4 plus or minus the square root of 56 divided by 2. At a lot of points, this is where you can do a couple different things with it. One of it is you can just get the decimal for the radical and get the answer in a decimal, or you can leave it as a radical. So let's go ahead and find the answer as a decimal number. So we take the square root of 56 which is 4 plus or minus then 7.5 and all that's going to be divided by 2 so we have two potential answers one is 4 plus 7.5 over 2 which is 5.74 and the other is 4 minus 7.5 over 2, which is negative 1.74. So we have solved the equation, and what this means is that there is an x-intercept at 5.74 and an x-intercept at 1.74. And if we needed to find the actual x-y pair, so if it wanted to, us to find the coordinate of the x-intercept, then here are the x values, and we put each one of those into the original formula for x and solve for y. So if we put in 5.74 for x, we could solve that and get a y value, and that would give us an x-intercept of 5.74 and whatever that y value is, and we could do the same for this one, and it would give us an x-intercept of negative 1.74 and whatever the corresponding y value is for that. Most of the time we're looking at this, these are going to be sufficient. It's going to ask for the solutions and so those are going to be sufficient. It is always good to put these values back in just to see what the y is, but in this case these two are going to be the actual x-intercepts. So I hope this helps, but if you have any questions or we'd like to look at another problem, um, let me know and we can do that too. Thanks.